Good morning. Welcome, guys, gals, non binary pals. Good morning, everybody. Happy French Fry Friday. <laughs> oh, Fernando, why is it down? <laughs> it had to restart because he didn't like my first one. <laughs> I told you, you had to clear them. <laughs> I didn't censor myself. <laughs> this man did not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that more as, as the timer goes on. <laughs> English or math? God, neither. <laughs> God. Mm, home. Home. <laughs> failed both <laughs> subjects at least once. <laughs> I've never failed at either of them. I've I was failed. better at math than I was English. Uh, like grade-wise. When I was... I didn't uh, want to do my work in English. Hey, uh, I failed English before, and I failed geometry at one point. Geometry was the easiest to me. No, oh, they asked me how, they said, here's a triangle. Now tell me how it's a triangle. <laughs> what do you mean, how is it a triangle? It said, I'm a triangle. You can't tell me that you, you're, you're going to ask me to tell you how it's a triangle. You can't just look at it and see it's a triangle. Elmo didn't tell me how a triangle was a triangle. He said, nah, it's a triangle. And I said, you're so right, Elmo. <laughs> you're so right, bestie. What are you doing? That's a triangle. <laughs> he said, look, triangle. And, and I, I said, said oh pop God, off sis, triangle. Right. He didn't tell me how it was a triangle. <laughs> Sorry to sneeze. He didn't tell me how it was a triangle. I, 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 I like geometry. <laughs> that was my favorite <laughs> I despise geometry. I passed it the third time. <laughs> I took it once and passed it. Uh, I was one of the top in my class. I think I failed it twice. I I hated English. Because all my English was like... I, I can't like keep up. I have a really uh, hard time keeping up with what they wanted you to do. I couldn't read a book like they wanted me to. My senior yes. year of high school, they wanted us to read Oliver Twist, which if there's something that I don't want to read, I can't just be like, all right, let me get this over with because I'm not going to remember any of it. How I read is I follow along um, praying that there's an audiobook that <laughs> reads it to me. So like I'll search on YouTube uh, for an audiobook with it. And I'll follow along in my book, pause the recording, take notes as I'm going, and continue. That's how I have to read. Um, meanwhile, I just finished... VGG got me three... Um, my Hero mangas. She got me the first three books of the series. And I finished the first one all in one sitting. But it's it's a manga. It's, it's a comic book. So right. It's, it's different. That's that's a picture book. I got the picture books. I like picture books. I like picture books too. Okay. Um, but I just couldn't keep up with uh, regular classes. It's it was hard. I know read fast and I have a hard time remember. <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficile. Um, science or history? History. Mm, science. I didn't like history. I thought it was boring. I, I liked history. I like learning about it. I thought it was boring. It's all whitewashed. In our school. In most That's schools fair. in America. <laughs> but see, I like learning about, I don't like learning about our history. I like learning about like the Roman Empire and stuff like that. See, I always had like, I don't know, it, it's not imposter syndrome. But, like, uh, imposter syndrome has to do with yourself being, like, am I really me? Uh, I, I never knew if they were, like, true. <laughs> like, how are you gonna tell me that this book is true and then a bunch of articles be like, yeah, no, that's not actually true. How could they teach me something that's not true? That's fair. So I always had that issue with history. Whereas, like, any other class, it's like, yeah, no, this is stated factual, and everything is factual, because 
That's how facts work. <laughs> facts. Whereas, like, science, it can change. Like, if you find a new, a new thing that, like, made it change. Right. Uh, most of the history in, taught in, like, American schools is whitewashed. Right. So you don't know if it's actually true. So I didn't like history. I always slept during history. I can lie. <laughs> I, I was loud and proud in history class. I was not. We had this one teacher, um, that he would give us, I was a very quiet kid in class unless spoken to. And then I always like had something to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like during like, um, trial debates kind of, they weren't trial debates, but like they were just like speech debates in general of right. like, history, what we were supposed to read. And like, I didn't have time to do the reading. I could barely focus on doing my other classwork. What makes you right. think I want to read about some boring ass event? <laughs> Fair. Um, he would give us poker chips. And you would have to use all four of your poker chips. It was either three or four. Poker chips. Uh, so, like, you would throw it in the center and uh, fill in what you wanted to say. And, like, I would just sit there. And I didn't participate. And he'd be like, why aren't you participating? Why don't you use your coins? And I'm like, I don't use that. Are you kidding me? I don't don't know what's happening. (laughs) Why don't you use your coins? Listen, man, I'm over here racking up coins while these people are spending theirs. (laughs) Yeah, I I come from a broke household. This could get me a lot in mind. I think I'm going to keep it. (laughs) If I were to become a gambler right now, let me tell you what, man, I'd already have a head start. You know, I I hate that. I understand wanting to get your class involved in, like, trying to do it fun and everything, but, like, some people just don't like public speaking. Right. I'm one of those people. I have anxiety. Anytime I had to do, like, a class uh, report and, like, stand in front of the class, my anxiety peaked. (laughs) Right. I can't be doing that. Uh, so I'd be like, and this happened, and they're like, why are you sweating profusely? And I'm like, Evan, just shut up. No one asked you. Why are you sweating profusely? Why are you looking? You can tell. You know, just... <laughs> you can tell there's a puddle at your feet. Oh no, I peed. That, that's not sweat. That's need, not sweat. I tinkled. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom, but I forgot to tell you, so I just kind of went. I had this one teacher that was a sub because our other Eng- our English, our other history teacher was um uh he was the uh like the coach for the football team, and he like deuced out in the middle of the fucking year. So we didn't have a history teacher, so it was always like a, um, it was always a sub. And this one teacher, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Her name was Hate. I'm, n- th- I'm not joking. <laughs> Her last name was Hate. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna spell it. It was an odd spelling, but she's like, I'm Miss Hate. I'm like, oh. Phenomenal. Love that. It's probably like H A G H or something like that. I know. Shut me. up. Is that really hate? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I, was just, I was just throwing that out there. I wasn't being serious. No. Um, but we had her name was Miss Hate, and by God, did she live up to it? <laughs> I was. We had to do a um a presentation of. Like, uh, whichever president we got. I don't remember which one I got. His name was Zachary. I don't remember which one. So, good luck figuring out in the comments. Uh, <laughs> even if you tell me, I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I didn't write the report. I'm also not going to lie about that. My mom did it for me. Because I didn't do most of my homework. 
um, in middle school because uh, no, no, thank you. It was a lot of work. So I had her do it because she's like, do you want me to do it? And I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, ma'am. I'd be stupid to not take you up on that offer. Uh, and I did my, I did not proofread it beforehand. I stood up in front of the class, sat on the little wooden hurting, uh, chair that hurt the fuck out of my ass because, you know, <laughs> broken tailbone gang. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, she, I had everybody laughing, like not even kidding. I had her laughing too. Everybody was laughing during my presentation. That was one thing about me. Uh, when you actually got me talking, you heard how funny I was. Uh, and that's not just me being like, <laughs> I'm so funny. Everybody was laughing, including her who hated life. Oh. And I got my report back and she gave me a D. <laughs> you know what her reason was? What? History's not supposed to be funny. Yeah, I got a D. And then when I, you know, outraged about it because, <laughs> of course, I had something to say. I said, why did I get a D? Like, I don't, I never pulled teachers to the side to discuss things with them. Uh, if I had an issue, I, you know, would say it in front of the class because I was usually not the only one. So I'm right. like, um, why did I get a D when everybody loved my presentation? And it wasn't because uh, somebody else wrote it because I always rewrote my mom's stuff because, you know, our handwriting's different. That's how handwriting works. Right. So she did not know. I did not write it myself. Um, I made sure that all the everything was in place. It doesn't mean I read it. I just copied the words down. And she, she told me it's because you... You did what, like, what did she say? You did what was asked, but you also made a joke or a mockery out of history or something like that. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no, I made a mockery out of a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> what is he going to do? Come back from the grave and, like, piss on me or something? What, what What's going to happen? You must have had a thing for the president you got. Uh, it's something like that. God damn. She's like the one teacher for my Carly, the, the shrine of Randy Jackson. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, no, I was, <laughs> I was sent out to the hall because I was being disruptive. And, uh, <laughs> you know, one of my friends passed by and I decided to go walk with him because why wouldn't I? <laughs> uh and i heard my name over the loudspeaker a couple a couple minutes later as i was heading back i was like mm, <clears throat> amazing she called the principal on me <laughs> so i went and sat in the principal's uh in the in the principal's office and he's like you can't you're here again i'm like ha what's good bro we tight <laughs> what's good and he's like what did you do now i explained the entire situation because you know I was not in the wrong here, and I will fully admit when I am, I was not, it was not my fault. You <laughs> left an ADHD have her sit in the hall. Seriously? You're stupid. Stop you expected me to walk off? Right? So, <laughs> I decided to take a little break, not thinking that she was going to be like, you know, calling my name over the loudspeaker. Well, she didn't. She made the principal do it because she didn't know where I was. And uh, he brought her up and he's like, why did, uh, why, what happened? Why did you get a D on this? And I'm like, um, it's a good question. Would you, you, would you like to tell him yourself? She's like, uh, the student made a mockery out of, uh, out of history History is not supposed to be funny. And I'm like, I had everybody laughing, including her. She had a problem with it because, you know, I be funny. That's not <laughs> my problem. She had a problem with it because she's not as funny with as it as she's not as funny as I am. 
it's not my problem that you're not funny like me. Some people just have it. And other people don't. That's not my problem. And he's like, well, is everything in there correct? She's like, yeah, but. And he's like, is everything cited? Yeah, but I, I don't uh, leave that here. Let me look over it. Make sure everything's right. And uh, it might be changed by the end of the day. And I'm like, it might be. I'll, you know, I'll take the end of the year if it takes that long. Take your time. <laughs> long as it gets changed i got it back the next time i was in the principal's office which happened to be i think the next week later or so (laughs) um and uh uh that d turned into a b (laughs) and you know what i'll take it the only reason it was a b was because he didn't see my actual presentation he just graded me on the paper um so you, you know, had him I'll take it. To him. Huh? You would have had him laughing too, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. To uh, how I deal with my stress and anxiety when it comes to presentations is to make everyone laugh. That's literally how I handle stress. I make everyone laugh and my stress completely, like, goes out the window. Right. Um... I've been told by a couple different people, like, that I should do stand-up, and I'm like, ha I have stage right, good luck with that. (laughs) Um, but, like, it's, it's just, it's literally how I cope with things. And the fact that she was being an absolute asshole about how I'm coping with my own, like, issues is, like... My paper was right. Everyone had a good time during my presentation. I made history fun for once because everybody else was like, in the war of 1812, like, no one wants to hear other people do presentations. No one wants that. Right. (laughs) They're boring as shit. So, like, to have one funny one where I was fucking up the words because, you know, I can't read. (laughs) (laughs) And I had never read it before, which made it even harder. (laughs) It made it so much better. Like, everybody had a good time. Why you gotta ruin my, my, literally, why you gotta ruin my grade? Because you don't like fun. Stop being an asshole. (laughs) It's not worth it. I promise you. My, uh, my senior year. I, uh... (laughs) I had other people doing my work for me. Uh, that's not different from any other year. That's fair. You didn't have mommy doing it like I did. I, my mom didn't do my homework in high school because I was like, ah, maybe I should start doing my own shit now. Well, listen, buddy, I didn't have the opportunity to have mommy do it for me. <laughs> no, nope. <laughs> I have other random high school girls doing it, doing it for me. Yeah, no, I get it. Uh, I never did my homework. Uh, that's not true. I didn't do the homework that I didn't understand. So like, and I also wouldn't lie about it to the teacher because they would see me copying it off somebody else. I'm like, can I have your mark? They're like, don't get me in trouble. And I'm like, uh-huh, I'll word it different. Don't worry. And, like, a couple different times, they're like, why didn't you do your homework? And I'm like, I didn't understand what to do. I'm not going to lie about it. But I also didn't want to ruin my grade because I'm bad at taking tests. See, I, uh, I'd either, I'd have them, uh, I, the teacher would set down the paper we were doing that day. And then they'd go back to their desk. Like, I had, uh. I had like this, it's like different science classes. And I sat, all our desks were like clustered together. Yeah. And I sat, it was me and one other guy in a classroom full of nothing but girls. Okay. And I sat at a desk, it was me and him and then three other girls. Okay. So they'd say, the teacher would set the paper on the desk and then he'd go back to his seat and he'd play on his computer or whatever. And they'd either, finish the paper slide me the paper and i do it or i just leave the paper there and one of them would end up taking it and copying their stuff down onto it and sliding it back over to me you know i didn't have people in class 
doing my work for me. Oh no, I, I had them in class doing it for me. I didn't have that. I um I had people like if I asked for the paper they would you know give it to me because I would always do the same because <clears throat> the only way I kept my grade up in high school and any other school year was doing my homework I could not take tests <laughs> let's see because I used to I just leave it sit there and I wouldn't do it and <laughs> they'd ask me they're like why why aren't you doing your work why aren't you you're not like it's like you're trying to get held back and i was like no i'm just i'll get it done towards the end of when it needs to all be turned in <laughs> they go it's okay i'll do it for you and they just take my paper i'll be like all right cool i'm a procrastinator but like right. not like that i'll be like i'll get it done when i absolutely have to and i'll be like no it's okay i'll do it for you Feel free. I'm not gonna turn that down. Yeah, no, I, I did. I didn't do that. Gym class or art class? Jib. I didn't like gym class. <laughs> I didn't like art class. I know. <laughs> you didn't like art class either. That's fair. I liked art class. I didn't like the teachers. Art was <laughs> the only thing that I failed. <laughs> I. In my entire school life, I only failed one class with an actual F. And it it was my freshman year of art. I took drawing one. And I tried to take drawing two my sophomore year. Um, but I took uh, drawing one uh, my freshman year of high school. And my art teacher was an absolute asshole. And like, it, that's that's a common thing. Like, uh, it's always the teacher's fault. No, 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 no. She had us doing a full picture a day on top of other homework. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have shit to do. Like... It's not something that some people can do. I don't... That's the one thing I don't understand with teachers. Like, I know you're not getting paid enough to deal with us and shit like that. But, like, that doesn't mean you can shove so much homework down our throats. Right. Like, every teacher had homework except for, like, very few. I had a, had a teacher, my favorite teacher, uh, senior year... Did not give any homework. And he's not my favorite because of that. Like he was just an all around good dude. He was one of the first teachers that actually gave a shit about me. And like I, I cried to him many times. And I know he didn't get enough. Get paid enough to deal with my shit and everything. But like it felt nice to have any sort of adult be like. Oh I'm so sorry that you have had a shit life. <laughs> like ah. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. See, I worked all through high school. I had a job. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> before I started getting girls to do my work for me, I, uh, I'd i use that to get extensions. I'd show up the next day without the work done. I'd be like, I had to work last night. I did not get it done. I'd be like, oh, you had to work? Okay, well, do you get another day? I'll give you another day for it. See, most of my teachers wouldn't extend it. I, did, I had... Um... Seasonal jobs. Uh, my, my job is not through, these. I think it was sophomore. It was either junior or sophomore through uh, senior. I had. Yeah. Uh, I worked a seasonal job at Spirit Halloween. Before I started getting girls to do mine, I just used my job as an excuse so I could get an extension on it, and I still wouldn't do it. I, even if I said I there was one day it was Halloween because you know spirit and everything right. uh, I um, to go to work you had to have like a costume and everything and I I had to go straight from school to work literally straight from school to work and I had to do everything like put on my costume and wear it all day at school touch up the, the like makeup I had on 
for it and go to work right after. So I went from school to work to trick or treating and home. <laughs> I was, uh, I was, uh, meanwhile, I was still wearing a binder at the time. If you don't know what a binder is, um, it's a, I wore the tank top ones. You can buy a sports bra one or you can just buy like um, a strapless one. But I had a tank top one that did not, it was not custom fit to me. I ordered it off online that was like set size that was very not fit to me. <laughs> and it was too tight and bruised my ribs on multiple occasions. And this <laughs> did happen to be one of the occasions. Didn't you have like a galaxy on it? Uh, that was that was a custom one I had, and yeah, I I got that one custom made after I was already graduated from high school. I don't wear yeah. a binder anymore because I'm I'm more um, okay with my body, but it also now gives me claustrophobia if I do ever wear one. So a binder, it um, it's it's exactly what it sounds like. It binds your chest. To make you look flatter to give you more of a uh flatter chest i'm not big chested i have small low a cups i got you got them small titties thankfully oh you get to say titties <laughs> you can't say titties within the first two seconds <laughs> i got small titties so it's not that it like <laughs> matters it just it, it just always bothered me. So I wore a binder that literally fucked up my ribs for probably the rest of my life. <laughs> um, because if you bind poorly, it can kill you. Like, it, no joke, it can kill you. Um, so if you are trans or if you're binding in general... Do not use ace bandages. I did not use ace bandages. Do not use ace bandages to bind. Look up a reputable source for a binder. Put in your measurements. It might be a little more expensive than like getting something right off the shelf from like a store. Uh, like ace bandages. Do it. Fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> As someone who has a lot of medical problems because of past experiences, fucking do it. It's worth it. Do <laughs> not risk your body's health and safety because you want to be lazy. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> I don't. Fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> trust me on this. If you don't trust anything else I say, trust me on this. It's fucking worth it. Um, if I find any reputable, like, sources, I will link them below. God, do not bind improperly. <laughs> um, because I had to wear my binder for, uh, I went to school. I put it on at 6.30 a.m. and didn't get home until, I want to say, like, 10.30 at night. You're not supposed to exceed eight hours wearing it. Like, that's the maximum hours you're supposed to wearing it before it can cause lifelong damage to your ribs. Um, and it was on for... How long is that? 16 hours. 16? Yeah. Still, like, that's... <laughs> that's literally double the limit. Yeah. It's it's not it's not healthy. It's not and especially not in a good binder. It it fucked my body up. <laughs> like I <laughs> will have lifelong pains because I fucked my own body up from not listening to what my body was telling me. If you're in pain, fucking listen to your body. Like <laughs> it's not a question. Your body doesn't go, "Huh?" That kind of hurts. It goes, hey, 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 that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't question pain. It goes, hmm, that's pain. That do be pain. Hmm, maybe I should do something about that pain. Don't go, hmm, maybe I should. 
No, fix it. <laughs> Do something about it. Do something about it. <laughs> like, God, it's. I have fucked up my body so much because of me not listening to my own pain. I've bruised my ribs so many times that um, I couldn't breathe for like weeks from my own binder, and I still had to wear it because if I didn't, I would get full blown like panic episodes like i would have shut down panic attacks where i would like almost black out from being in so much panic i i forgot my binder one day going to school i had to walk to the bus and i forgot my binder and i couldn't turn back because then i wouldn't be able to catch the bus and i didn't have another way to school um so i had to uh, well, I did have another way. My mom was off that day. But, like, I didn't want to wake her up for this stupid little small issue. That was not a stupid little small issue because... If if you have an issue, don't be afraid to fucking tell somebody about it. I went yeah. in... I, I got on the bus having a full-blown panic attack, which I masked my panic attacks extremely well because I've been trained to not have anything wrong with me that's just how i was raised and i went straight to the guidance counselor like i didn't speak to anybody went straight to the guidance counselor and went i'm having a panic attack because i forgot my binder i need to go home <laughs> <laughs> and you know being from a very small place they weren't trained um in knowing some like terms and everything so she's like why okay was it like it, it was it a specific color i'm like it's black it's see-through i need it she's like okay if i call somebody at home can they bring it in for you i'm like no uh i need to go home i'm having a panic attack i need home me is am go home she's like okay <laughs> okay i get it i understand um but can you like it, it's it's just a binder can can you like go to class and uh i can call someone and have them bring it in for what period do you need it for and i'm like it's not that type of binder i need home <laughs> <laughs> i me go home me go home um because, like, a, a class binder that you use for, like, right. book yeah, work and shit like that. Yeah. Has the same name, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, okay, I don't understand. Why are you having... Do you have something, like, due today? And I'm like, no! Home! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, she calls my mom. And by this time, my mom already knew uh, I wore a binder. And, um... Because, like, she'd find it in the wash and everything because my mom did my laundry. And <laughs> she's like, yeah, um, I have your child here and uh, a binder? She's like, okay, what's, what's the problem? She's like, I don't, I'm not sure, but, like, I'm like, get me the phone, hand phone, phone now, me have phone. I like taking I'm like mom I'm having a panic attack I need to go home now she's like oh okay all right um yeah no problem let me throw on my shoes and I'll I'll be right in don't don't worry just stay there go to the office have the you know meet me outside or <laughs> not because she had to sign me out because I wasn't legal yet <laughs> <laughs> and she's like I'll I'll don't even worry about it I will come get you. Because, like, as soon as she heard the type of panic I was having, she knew it wasn't over, like, a school binder. <laughs> right. So she came, and she picked me up, and she's like, you okay? And I'm like, uh-uh, I need home. <laughs> she's like, okay, all right. What happened? Were you just rushing? And I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot... To put it on because i was rushing because i was thinking about other things um 
I don't remember what the other things were, obviously. They did not have importance like that binder did. <laughs> um, but I went home for the day. And uh, the next day I was called back into the, uh, the counselor. She's like, okay, can you're okay now. What happened? What, what was wrong? And, like, I explained the situation. She's like, oh, okay. All right, I got you. That makes a lot more sense than you were missing your school binder and you were having a full-blown panic attack over it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your mom couldn't bring it in for you. All right, that makes that makes more sense now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, uh-huh. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay now. <laughs> I'm okay. Me is ever fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No more. <laughs> yeah, that was um, not a fun day. I believe it. <laughs> it was. It was. It. It was very exhausting. <laughs> and I, um, when I got pulled out of school, they never took me back. <laughs> so like, if I had a, an appointment that day, I wouldn't go into school. I would just get a form like, right. do you need a, a school slip? And I'm like, mm -hmm. I just wouldn't go to school that day. Yeah, I used to have to convince my parents. I didn't. Bro, I Cause... picked and choose. I, I, I would pick and choose what days I went to school. See, my dad, it used to be like a punishment. I wouldn't have to go to school in the morning and I convinced them to keep me out. And Anytime I like did something wrong, my dad would look at me and he goes, you know, it's only such and such time. School is still in. You can still go. Oh, yeah. No, I'd have that threatened sometimes, but like the threat was that it was an empty. Right. <laughs> they would never he, take he, me in. He'd tell me that and it'd be like noon. That's that. Once I started catching on, he'd be like, you know, it's only like 1230. You can still go in. I'd be like, no, I can't. They stopped letting kids in after noon. I was like, there's no point in you even trying. Yeah, no. I was like, they're just going to send me back out. I always their bluff on it, too. <laughs> he used to get so mad because I'd be like, nope, it's already past noon. I, I'm a free man now. <laughs> and he'd go, you, you want you want to see how free you are? He goes, I will put you, you, I will put you to work. You want to see how free you are? <laughs> no, like, daddy, you're taking it out of, you, you're taking it out of uh, all the points I just made. You can't do that. So I told him, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, you know what? Free from school is free enough for me. I'm okay. <laughs> free from school is good enough. I'm going to go to my room. <laughs> Do you ever have, you don't have anxiety. No. How's that? How's that feel, man? I mean, must be nice. I, uh, I don't know how I got. Because my dad has anxiety, but I don't. I don't really know how I got bypassed for that. Well, it's not. It, I mean, it, it can be hereditary, but it's not like something that you have to have. Because I, parents I, have I live by the "it is what it is" terms. Uh huh. Something happens. Ah, man, it is what it is. See, my father um, is a complete asshole. So, like, if you have problems and he doesn't have those problems, you don't have problems. He would take me... He took me to my my therapy. Uh, I can't remember if I was in my senior year of high school or if I was out by then. Um, but he took me to therapy and was like, yeah, no, you don't have anxiety or depression. I'm like, uh-huh, okay. Yeah, no, that's what's up, I guess. And I later found out he's on medication for both of those. <laughs> this man tried to get me to explain what a panic attack was to him. Like, oh, I, you don't have anxiety or depression. What are your panic attacks like? And I'm like, they're like fucking panic attacks. What do you mean? You know, you know that point where you're like, you get a sudden burst of panic. And it attacks and it like, you. Attack you. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. Like, he was gay. He was... Oh, I have... 
when I get my panic attacks, this happens. I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. He's like, you do too? I'm like, uh-huh. He's like, well, when I get mine, this happens. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, huh, buddy? That's how panic attacks usually are. Because he's, like, giving me all these, like, quote-unquote normal uh, panic attack symptoms. So he's like, my palms get sweaty. I start pacing. This happens. And I'm like, yeah, that's a normal fucking panic attack. You know, my palms get sweaty. My knees get weak. My arms get heavy. I want, I crave my mom's spaghetti. Like, <laughs> and there's always vomit on my sweater already. And I'm nervous as fuck, okay? No, yeah. But, like, he was giving me all the, the literal, like, dictionary definitions of anxiety symptoms. And, like, I get... I have literally blacked out because I'm having an episode before. And he's like, I've never had that, so you don't have it. And I'm like, I, that's not how this works. <laughs> I you had, ever had a... Huh? Huh? Finish what you are saying? I had an episode, uh, like, when it was really bad like my panic was at its like top tier levels uh it was before i left i don't know if you remember this but um they were having uh, a get together like uh halloween time of doing pumpkins like carving pumpkins at um, my grandmother's farm and i c i could not go i physically could not go because i was having uh an ocd panic episode because i would not be able to separate all the pumpkin seeds from the guts so i i had a literal breakdown to the point where i had to call my girlfriend who was in a different state because i hadn't moved yet i had to call her sobbing rocking back and forth having a complete breakdown episode on the couch surprisingly i do remember that you do remember that yeah yeah, no one was home at that time um, because everybody left to go there or go somewhere else. I was the only one home and I had a full breakdown because I could not separate all of the seeds from the pumpkin guts from the pumpkins that were being carved there. Meanwhile, I love pumpkins and I love the smell of pumpkin, like everything pumpkin. Because it, it gives me that burst of, like, dopamine that, like, my brain craves. It literally gets my anxiety and everything gone. But I could not rationalize not being able to separate the seeds from the pumpkin guts. I think, if I remember correctly, I still tried to convince you to go. Everybody did. Because they knew how much I loved that shit. But I right. could not rationalize it. Right. Like, that's just not how... You don't think rationally when you're having a, an episode. That's just not how it works. Um, I've tried to explain to you how I go through, like, stuff like that. Because you don't, you don't have the same things that I do. Nah. That's just how bodies work and everything. Right. Uh, I try how I explain overstimulation to you because you you've asked how how it feels because you didn't know if you had dealt with it at least up until then um, I don't know if that's changed or not but um, I ex how I explain my overstimulation is it's like a um, if you play a game online with like sound grenades and like uh what are those called flashbangs flashbangs yes uh like how it goes off in your face and you can't nothing around you exists because it's off like it all you hear is the high pitch ringing that's that's what an overstimulation um like that's what it feels like to be overstimulated and i deal with that multiple times a day I can't say I have, but I also have tinnitus, so the ringing is kind of normal. No, no, no. This is like, this is, it's completely different. Uh, then no, I haven't dealt with it. Yeah, no. I shut down when I, um, 
Let me get overstimulated. I turned into a five year old. I'm not even <laughs> like that's not a joke. I, I I genuinely result like how my brain copes with it. It turns me into a five year old and puts like normal me in the back seat watching out of my eyes. Um, is the only way I've been able to explain how that works. So I'm still like, I, I'm still cognizant. I can still see what's happening. I can still, you know, I'm, I'm cognizant of my surroundings, but I come off like a, uh, a five-year-old because my body is, is shutting down until it can um, get back to normal and not be overstimulated anymore. Um, which is one of the reasons, uh, why in the last episode, if you heard me say that my girlfriend does all the shopping, it's, it's because I have those episodes. Um, and she, uh, very thankfully takes care of stuff like that because she knows I can't handle it on a everyday day-to-day basis like she can. Um, and I'm very, very thankful that she does that. Yeah. Because I would not be able to deal with things like that uh, if I had to the way she does. So, uh, any last thoughts, comments before we end this one? So, I was going to say happy Fresh Titty Friday, but I was told I couldn't. And I felt like this needs to be spoken about. Within the first two seconds, he said, Happy Fresh Titty Friday. And I'm like, Friendo, that does not compute with the algorithm. Can't say it. I needed to say Fresh Titty Friday because I know it's Friday, day before the weekend. Everybody's out there getting their titties nice and clean for the parties on the weekend. So all the titties are fresh. So I felt like everyone needed to know Happy Fresh Titty Friday. Happy Fresh Titty Friday or French Fry Friday. For those who don't have titties. <laughs> Hope you have a great day or night, depending on what time you're watching and if today is your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday and happy French Fry slash Fresh Titty Friday. Make sure to like and subscribe and let us know what you want to see next. <laughs> have a safe flight home. We'll see you next <clears throat> season.